welcome back to another video today we're doing the aba roster tier list i feel like i haven't done these in a while so yeah just might as well do one for the end of the month but yeah i'm just gonna be putting my thoughts on which roster is pretty much the best roster and just putting them in a tier list so yeah um bear in mind these are just my opinion and from my experience when playing aba um some characters might carry a roster so that's why that's why you might see a roster high up than it should be also another disclaimer i'm not counting game pass characters because game pass are locked behind a paywall and game pass itself it's like a whole tier list by itself so yeah i already made a video on, on i already made a tier list on game pass characters so yeah bear in mind this is just my experience and my play time throughout aba and what i think is pretty much going to carry this roster especially a certain character that's all i gotta say if you got any issues let me down in the comments below explain don't just say oh bad tier list uh, doesn't really help your case it just just shows you don't know have don't ha don't have any good thing or bad thing to explain on why this tier list shouldn't be there or why it should be up there or down there whatever but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video please consider dropping a like comment subscribe if you're new subscribe why wouldn't you it's free but yeah that's all i gotta say so let's get into this um first off misc the miscellaneous roster is just pretty much s tier you got characters like Gojo, Yuji, Virgil, Afro, Chica, Mob. Do, do I do I do I need to go further, bro? Like Mob can legit just reverse you in the awakening battle because once he awakens, which he can pretty much awaken at any time, he can awaken at 50%, 75%. Mob actually helps his roster out a lot. Not to mention Gojo, even though Gojo's like 99% of the 99% of the time is banned because no one wants to fight against a gojo it's it's really annoying uh even though you have a slim chance of playing gojo it, most of the time gojo is going to come out on top he that rework just made him oh i dropped something that rework just made him the best character in the game if you can play him maybe <laughs> i'm just saying bro you can't play like when i was trying to do my gojo video um i pretty much couldn't spend hours trying to get gojo to use gojo but i couldn't because everybody kept banning him but i digress i'm getting off topic i'm sorry but yeah we got chica chica's an amazing character her one shot's very viable low cooldowns um pretty much can spam her entire kit and she'll do insane consistent damage afro afro is crazy now um they fixed his uh, combo extender which is three slashes awakening goes crazy because once you get once you get once you get him um, once you get awakened he does insane damage his slices do insane damage and like at probably like half he'll probably kill you with like a up to and a slash and his he has, he has one of the best evasives in the game because you can move with your evasive it's on low cooldown and it does a ton of damage who else did i say i think i said yuji and uh yeah yuji's yuji yuji goes crazy still even with all the nerfs he's been getting he's still a crazy character he all it takes is one hit or one down smash with his uh a kick or i'm not even sure what it's called margin kick i'm not even sure but you know what i mean all it takes is one and he can just pretty much one shot you with uh, black flash because black flash is crazy and yeah all right next up is the naruto roster naruto roster in my opinion goes s tier um <laughs> there's like so many characters in that roster that are just annoying to fight and most of the time it's against tryhards who just want to use a character to easily kill you and that's just mostly itachi rock lee kakashi um kisame sometimes kisame but kisame the thing about kisame is that once he gets his awakening he can pretty much just turtle you the whole entire game once he gets his awakening and not to mention his uh if you didn't know when he does a little spin move and a little spin move where he if you don't block it he can steal some of your awakening bars so if you're like if you're waiting out his awakening and you're trying to like spot stall time to like let him get let him get you low if you don't block that, he will steal a chunk of your awakening, and that just ruins your whole game plan. And yeah, he's in water. It's really hard to fight an awakening Kisame. But yeah. Um, who else, bro? Um, I ain't Garo, but Garo is really situational. Uh, Garo, Garo really shines if he gets awakening. 
because in his awakening you get infinite you get infinite iframes if you block the ultimate defense goes crazy but that's if you get your awakening hit naruto bro if you're good at kid naruto um you already know what happens bro once you get an awakening for kid naruto we're saying on those like 75 percent of your health and yeah you could just run around the whole map and spam like six we're saying guns if you don't know what i'm talking about um so when you do we're saying on plus your arm grab he throws the saying on towards you and ev even if you block it it won't matter because for some reason naruto has two times damage like kaioken damage when he does when he does when he m1s you so once he m1s that's like pretty much you're dead either way you're dead if you block or not <laughs> but yeah um then we have uh freaking oh my god i forgot his name for a second then we have neji if you haven't followed try hard neji they're they they go crazy bro they they can like um they mastered neji to the point where they can keep keep you in 64 palms until their whole entire kit recharges like they go all until, until their whole entire kit goes off cooldown they will keep you in 64 palms they would they will circle you bro it will be like you're actually fighting a neji from the uh, from the anime kid neji bro <laughs> it will not be fun because once they get you in 64 palms they're gonna like just turn you around to what's it called they get their cooldowns back and then they just push you off 64 palms and then they do the up tilt combo thing with kunai and then somehow they mastered the freaking kunai extend where it, when you when you explode when they explode when the kunai explodes you have a small chance to combo extend that and they mastered that so once that happens you're pretty much dead bro it's just a, it's just confirmed at that point you're dead you don't have any right to live anymore there you're playing they're they're having fun it's a single player game for them you're not gonna play anytime soon <laughs> um and then we have itachi i forgot if you haven't mentioned anything about itachi but you already know bro itachi tryhards go crazy they don't even care about combo extending if they can get some if they can chip you off with their fireball damage or their kunai damage not kunai shurikens my bad if they can chip you off with that they will do that they don't care about combo extending they do not care about one shotting if they can play how they want to play and keep and kill you consistently do enough damage consistently it's gg and once they get their awakening on your final so it's gg bro like once you're on your last saw it's pretty much gg you don't have a chance to win but yeah that's all i gotta say about the naruto roster it's not much if you fought a try hard naruto or not naruto a try hard itachi player kakashi player you understand what i feel bro like it's so annoying because they do not care they want to win and they will do anything to win with those characters and then we have my guy um uh, ever since he got his nerves um you don't see many my guy players but he's still he's still insane i'm not gonna lie he's still an insane character but you don't see as many as you used to but yeah let's go into the next roster already all right next up is the SEO roster and they're going to a tier because very hard 100 percent iq kirito player because bro i don't know what about i don't know what it is about kirito players that catch me lacking but i for some reason just get bodied when i fight kirito players and i'm not sure it's because the player itself or i just get really really trash when i fight against kirito but for some reason they just they just bother me so uh, they just uh, they just bother me body me sometimes and then when you get when then when they get their awakening it's just it's basically like a mini sukuyomi for awakening kirito he can just freeze you in place if you jump twice and I end up jumping twice and I just get killed, bro. <laughs> and then yeah, it, it's really I don't know what it is about KTO players, bro, bro. I can I just get caught lacking, and that's the only reason why. I mean, I have not fought a good Xenon player. Like you just mostly spam skills, and I just end up spamming with them, and then we'll see who wins. Asuna, Asuna players are pretty much dead because they she doesn't have a good a good combo center. I'm sure she can do a ton of damage, but if it doesn't really help if you can't start it if you can't um use your skills to m1 them <laughs> but yeah um like i said there's like gonna be like those one character that carries the roster to where to where it should be or should where it shouldn't be and that character in my opinion is keto for the sa roster he's gonna be an a tier um i would drag him down to like b tier but in my experience fighting Kyoto players they just body you like they for some reason are so good with the character even with the even with the character being nerfed and all even when having the strangest m1 in the whole entire game they will body you and they will reverse stalk you with their awakening it's crazy but that's just my opinion let me know if you guys found any good Kyoto players or good xenon players or awesome players for 
uh for like a small chance because i doubt anybody has fought also in rank in a while unless it's mr random but let me know about the Kirito players bro because i feel like some people some of y'all in my and some of y'all like some of y'all actually got bodied by Kirito and i want to know if it's true or not were they good were they trash or were you just overconfident but yeah that's all i gotta say let's get into the next uh roster all right next up we has the favorite roster uh, i'm not gonna lie i feel like not fighting gray as much as i used to uh, has made me think he wasn't really that hard to fight most of the time when i fight nowadays when i fight gray they just expand their whole entire kit they don't actually m1 <laughs> They will spam every single part of their kit and when they run out they will just run around the whole map so yeah uh, uh it's my it's just my experience though uh, i haven't really fought a good great player and the only time i did is when i got overconfident I, I let them awaken and i i just let them i just let myself get overconfident with it so that's just my, on my bad but i feel like they go on beats here i mean i'm not like i tried i mean against uh what's her name bro i forgot her name I tried using Ezra and I don't know what players did, but for some reason I can't combo in her slashes because when I use her slashes, the AoE for it shrinks. And if you push far enough, like if you push your if you're getting hit with it, if you push your body far enough, you can escape the AoE the AoE attack for some reason. I don't know, bro. I feel like it's a nerf. I feel like it's a shadow nerf or something, but I don't fight enough fairy tale characters to know. I I for sure know Natsu is pretty easy to counter. If he uses if he uses Dragon Breath, he can just go around it and just pretty much get a free combo in there. His dash is easy to avoid. His um little his little things just I don't know his grabs. I guess I guess you would call it a grab, but those are really easy to avoid too. I don't know, man. I feel like just because I haven't fought enough um fairy tale characters, I just feel like I haven't got that much experience with them anymore. But just from just from the past times i fought against them i don't know bro i would put them higher for, for sure ezra can carry uh ezra can carry the tier list or not the tier list the, the roster itself to a tier but i don't know i haven't fought them that much plus um not soon gray just just casual not soon great players they just hold down the tier list they just hold down the roster because they just spam out everything and hope, to, and hope something will hit. And when they get one shotted, they'll leave the game and tell you you're cheating. They will tell you you're cheating, like, bro. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I will put, I will play some higher, but eh, I don't feel like it. And yeah, I don't feel like they deserve to go higher. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, maybe they go, maybe they go in A tier, but they're, they're staying in B, in B tier. All right, we got Demon Slayer roster up next. Oh man, this is a hard one to be honest because Tanjiro for sure is crazy. Even with the nerf he got with his um with his whirlpool not being able to be a combo stand anymore, but we found a way around that. All you just gotta do is uh down smash into it. I'm not sure why they try they tried to change it. I guess they tried to nerf it, but when you just down smash into it, it's still true. Tengen pretty much carry the Demon Slayer roster to S tier. They are both amazing characters. Rengoku can also help out a bit because he can still one shot in his base. And the thing about his awakening is that it's kind of lackluster. It's really weird because you really can't do much in it. And if you get turtled in it, you're just gonna end up losing your awakening. So if you awaken on your last stock and they awaken, they can pretty much outrun you. And when your awakening ends, uh, you pretty much die. It's like Gon's thing, but you pretty much die from it. it like, it's not really much to like. For Saitama, it's a different story because Saitama has after image technique and he can just TP behind you and get a free combo in. But Rengoku Yashi actually had to chase the target and one shot them because if you don't one shot them, and they just end up outrunning your awakening the whole entire time or just doing damage or just just stalling your awakening, you pretty much die and lose that stock. So yeah. But Tengen and Tanjiro both have amazing one shots. Their awakening is crazy. Tengen has three lives in awakening, like Sukuna, but better. Tanjiro, you can just spam everything, just pretty, pretty much do insane damage. But yeah, that's just my opinion. I feel like the roster can it can compete. It can, it can like I feel like the roster can go to S tier, maybe A tier, but nah, they go they go in S tier to be honest. This is my opinion. All right, next I'm gonna do the Fate roster. Um. 
it's kind of to, it's kind of hard to choose where the fate roster goes because they kind of have some mid characters but at the same time it's mostly skill based characters now i'm not, not like i'm trying to say fate is kind of skilled it just took them long enough to nerf these characters to make them a little skilled one for sure is um one for sure is right now what's his name gilgamesh gilgamesh m1s are kind of wonky to me but once you master those m1s his what's it called his he becomes a deadly character in your hands because they're pretty much auto aim m1s so once you master those m1s um, once you get used to them you can pretty much just hit somebody once stay still and then just one shot the whole entire time and his awakening is crazy you can just freeze you in awakening he's pretty, he's pretty much like a mob but he can freeze you for half of like longer and just end up one shot on you but yeah saber saber uh, saber gets a little so like she gets she 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 gets strong once you actually learn how to properly use her buff because if you didn't know she buffs herself and once you switch to another form that buff still goes to your second form so when you buff yourself and one shot somebody it's a guaranteed one shot because that buff does insane damage for your kit but yeah it's basically like a mini kaioken buff um what's it called then we have uh Kitsuguri, whatever his name is. I'm not sure how to say his name. I don't really care, but Master Chief. Um, still an amazing character. Still has insane potential to be one of the best characters in the game if you just learn how to M1. <laughs> then you have some like mid characters. Um I wanna say Mash is mid Mash is mid because she's insane, but I feel like people block way too much for her. They don't really become aggressive. She has some huge openings when she uses her move one 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 being is that when she tries to slap you or her shield she has a huge opening where you can have a chance to m1 her yes she has that stupid uh mini gara buff where she can buff herself and just not be hit for like a couple of minutes or seconds but i don't know if that really makes her top tier because of that move but yeah we have uh that one character i forgot his name it's the one that Pretty much use domain expansion and just launches you into a world where he can chuck horses at you. <laughs> but he's really skill not really skill based, but he's really annoying to fight. He has a huge opening when he does his mini slashes. When he does his three slashes, he gets in lag. But you can pretty much counter him just by turtling him. Uh you can block most of his moves. He can't combo stand off of him. Um the only time he's really deadly is that if if you let him get awakening, which why would you let him get awakening unless you feel sorry for him? Um, really situation though, it's really depend. It really depends on the player who's using them. If they're really good with the character or not. If they're good at M1. But sometimes if you're if you're a godly at M1, you can get away with using pretty much any character because most characters rely on M1. -y. And if you can do some good damage, if you were if you do some good damage, you can do you, you can do some good damage with your kit if you can M1 into combos a lot. If you win all your M1 trades, you can pretty much make the character work no matter who you are or who you pick. I mean, but yeah. They go in eights here in my opinion. Um, it's just my opinion. Don't get mad. <laughs> All right, next we have the JoJo roster. It's kind of a hard choice on where to put them at. Those JoJo characters are mostly known for one shotting. Most of the characters can one shot or used to be able to one shot. Now they really can, but they still sort of can. Um, you have Jolene, pretty much the pinnacle of toxic character because she can just stun you with a seven foot seven block radius rope thing that's for some reason hasn't been nerfed yet but nah whatever <laughs> um yeah you, yeah as you can see the more i talk about these characters the more i realize how broken ab is aba aba is and uh, it makes me kind of sad but it's just aba bro i can't really do nothing about it it's meant to be broken you're meant to be op in this in this game you're meant to not have fun <laughs> but yeah um yeah oh joseph still a top tier character but no one picks him anymore like like every single char hard stop picking him for some reason still he still goes crazy i'm not gonna lie he still goes crazy he's pretty much like a jolene but way more annoying because all he does is track star if he doesn't grab you he's not gonna fight and if he does grab you it's pretty much a gg one shot um jonathan jonathan same thing i feel like he's a little more toxic than Oh Joseph, oh Joseph, because he can heal. He can heal himself. If you didn't know, he can pretty much heal himself with Hamon. 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 Oh my! I cannot say no. I have not said that word in a long time. I lost how I lost how I say it to be honest. But he can heal himself with that. 
um he has an insane one shot i think they buffed him yeah i think his uh i forget what it's called his his little wave thing he, he's a little ripple he does on the floor i think it has hyper armor now i i forgot to be honest but yeah that does insane damage and hormone punches hormone punches if you can land your hormone punches uh insane damage already yeah they're really not fun to fight i feel like they sh i feel like they should go in s tier but i'm not sure bro maybe a tier it's really hard to say. It's really hard to say which tier they they belong in, either A or S tier. But I feel like they should go in S tier. I mean, sure they have like, uh, uh young, um, old Joseph, no, young Joseph and Pucci holding them back. But I feel like when they have Journal, who can pretty much go into um Requiem, and he can pretty much just one shot you with Scorpion Scorpion lasers. Um, Jolene, I can pretty much grab you across the map. I'm not joking, bro. She will grab you and one shot you. Oh, Joseph, I can just run around the world, just track star you. Jonathan, that if you if you if you become cocky with Jonathan, and if you just mess up with Jonathan, if you're finding it's Jonathan player, if you don't take it seriously, you're gonna get one shot easily, and it's just gonna heal the entire time. Um, that's really annoying. Who else, bro? I forgot. Um josuke i forgot about josuke bro josuke is a menace bro he is still have enough that character but yeah but the roster deserves s tier but let me know if you guys think differently all right and this one hunter hunter x hunter what's it called um i think they go in a tier i think <laughs> i'm dying bro i'm sorry <laughs> um um i i will put them in s tier but i feel like they don't really have many characters that should put them in s tier they only have um gone kid one hisoka hisoka don't be wrong Hisoka's crazy his hitbox on slice though it's kind of iffy they still haven't really fixed it he's like a mini mini toe he's a budget version of mini toe and i really say budget they're pretty much on par but one character can pull a character that actually stone locks but yeah um I feel like A tier. I feel like Gon kind of holds them back. Even even with the two best characters in the roster, I feel like Gon still holds them back because Gon is really is really a freaking glass cannon character. He can do he can dish out insane damage, but if you block like two of his moves, uh, it just leads into a free one shot if you're a one shot character. Um, scissors. If you play Aizen, it's just a wrap for for Gon because or any for any what's it called any counter character that just removes his guard break and he just has to learn how to m1 you and if he doesn't m1 um it's just a wrap but yeah it will kill is crazy but i feel like in the upcoming update or the upcoming nerf slash blood uh, buff update which we're gonna probably get very soon because they did a poll for that i feel like kill is gonna get nerfed because i feel like people hate kill now like his his song his like low cooldowns are crazy still like even with the nerf even when he even when he got a a nerf to his cooldowns so to make him a little more lower he's still such a crazy character now um ahsoka i'm not sure for anything about ahsoka but ahsoka still goes crazy bro like ahsoka ever since they made it so you can actually combo in with his bungee gum his he's become a, such a better character for it that's, that's like the main thing about ahsoka he loves his bungee gum bro he's, he's like he's like the main ability even through the whole entire the uh, i forgot the heavens arena arc he used bungee gum the most and it was so versatile because he was he had the high iq so yeah i will put them in s tier but i feel like they don't they don't have enough characters to make himself a, a s tier roster right now maybe they add karapika <laughs> maybe they add karapika maybe they can go into s tier but nah <laughs> all right and this one hunter hunter x hunter what's it called um i think they go in a tier i think <laughs> <laughs> i'm dying bro i'm sorry <laughs> um um i i will put them in s tier but i feel like they don't really have many characters that should put them in s tier they only have um gone kiddo and hisoka hisoka don't be wrong Hisoka's crazy his hitbox on slice though is kind of iffy they still haven't really fixed it he's like a mini mini toe he's a budget version of mini toe and i really say budget they're pretty much on par but one character can pull a character that actually stone locks but yeah um i feel like a tier i feel like gone kind of holds him back 
even even with the two best characters in the roster i feel like gone still holds them back because gone is really is really a freaking glass cannon character he can do he can dish out insane damage but if you block like two of his moves uh it just leads into a free one shot if you're a one shot character um scissors if you play aizen it's just a wrap for for gone because or any for any what's it called <laughs> any counter character that just removes his guard break and he just has to learn how to m1 you and if he doesn't m1 um it's just a wrap but yeah it will kill is crazy but i feel like in the upcoming update or the upcoming nerf slash uh, buff update which we're gonna probably get very soon because they did a poll for that i feel like kill is gonna get nerfed because i feel like people hate kill now like his his song his like low cooldowns are crazy still like even with the nerf like, even when he even when he got a, a nerf to his cooldowns to make him a little more lower he's still such a crazy character now um ahsoka i'm not sure for anything about ahsoka but ahsoka still goes crazy bro like ahsoka ever since they made it so you can actually combo in with his bungee gum his, he's become such a better character for it that's, that's like the main thing about ahsoka he loves his bungee gum bro it's, it's like he's like the main ability even through the whole the uh, i forgot the heavens arena arc he used bungee gum the most and it was so versatile because he was he had the high iq so yeah I will put them in S tier, but I feel like they don't they don't have enough characters to make himself a, a S tier roster right now. Maybe they add Karapika? <laughs> Maybe they add Karapika? Maybe they can go into S tier, but nah. <laughs> Alright, we're on One Piece roster. Uh, S. Oh, that's wrong. S tier. Um, I'm not even going to try to explain it, bro. It's just... I'm tired. I'm already tired from making this freaking roster list. <laughs> It's too many kids, too many rosters, bro. I, I, I just freak, I just know is that AB has so many rosters compared to most games. It's crazy, bro. It's actually crazy. But yeah, one piece goes into S row. I mean, maybe A, A tier because they really have some easy characters to fight against. Like, some characters are like, I don't, I forget what they're called. They're like an open book, per, per se. Like, um, time skip Sanji when he does his. When he does his stupid little 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 fly move, the grow shot, whatever it's called, I'm not sure. But when he does that move, when he flies towards you, he can just hyper armor through it. Say you use Killua, if he if he comes to me with that move, I would just block, not even block it. I would just take, I would take the damage. I would for real take the damage for it because it's better to then just letting letting him escape or use a move. But just any hyper move that starts a combo for you, it's easily a, a loss for the Sanji player. Um, same for Luffy, time, um, pre-time skip Luffy. If he comes, if he comes charging at you with a down smash, just use a barrage or just any hyper move to start your combo in SGG. Um, I know they have some characters like Lucy, um, who else? Zoro, time skip Zoro. Not time skip, um, pre-time skip Zoro. He's really good if you know how to use him. Um, but I feel like just some characters are just really an open book character that are easy to read don't get me wrong though but yeah maybe they have white beard but white is a game pass character he doesn't really go on their roster he goes in the game pass tier list or the game pass section i'm not sure why he's a game pass character <laughs> all right bleach s tier bro um not even a question about it bleach been getting some special treatment lately rukia for one is crazy um it's so dumb bro i hate her stun bro i was that not nerfed yet like actually so it's like a frame 0.1 grab that you can't avoid no matter what you do you, you jump in the air that, that jump's still gonna catch you for some reason i'm not sure mid jump into the air that's that joke is still gonna catch you it is unfair bro and then she can just one shot you in awakening um yeah <laughs> um the number one is spada whatever his name is um the car uh the car what am i saying other car is that i don't think that's his name but yeah you do the the green dude the green alien demon dude um he's he's just become he just made the roster a, a huge peak a, a huge peak in the game or he just made the roster stupid stupidly broken having that slice is crazy bro easy one shot um who else bro i forget who else like i'm i'm losing focus man i i i have three more rosters to go i'm probably gonna speed the i'm gonna speed one those rosters to be honest 
I'm not even gonna explain why, but it's pretty easy. To, it's pretty easy, bro. But yeah, um, but yeah, you already know. But Bleach is crazy. Stark, call you Stark. He's crazy in the right hands. Um, Shinji, insane damage if you learn how to M1. If you're not like me, they are trash with M1s. Shunji, there's like there's still some good Shunji players, bro. They they still go crazy. Um, Grimjaw, Grimjaw's still a bit crazy, but I feel like he's a little nerfed. But he's still he's still crazy. He's still crazy. He does some good consistent damage. And who was the last character I was gonna mention? I forgot. Toshiro, yeah, Toshiro, stupid. Toshiro. Still, still in a crazy character, but yeah, they go in S tier and let's go into the Dragon Ball Z roster next. So the Dragon Ball Z roster, it's hard to say because they have some weird characters, but they go in S tier. On Namek Goku, Namek Goku is stupid now. He has a Kaioken Rush that pretty much makes him um stupid and auto tracks to you and you can't avoid it no matter what you do. <laughs> um, But yeah. You can avoid it by using a hyper armor move, but I doubt that's going to really help out much because he really goes high up in the air for some reason. But yeah, it's really situational. He can still he still has a ton of hyper armor moves that can make him really strong in some cases. Um, you have Gohan, the peak Gohan that still hasn't been nerfed for some reason or not nerfed, um, changed the upper the uppercut still an annoying move to fighting in sometimes because that's what mostly all gohan players use they run around the map and use uppercut to start the combos because they really can't do anything else and yeah um tp mo not tp tp dash tp a tp move that does a four kick combo and just leads it to a free combo starter it, it's crazy gohan's a crazy character still so so the peak of uh spamming you already know no i explain myself further you just you can just spam all this kit and do insane damage for some reason. I'm not sure why. Go Vegito. Vegito's still stupid. The four combo extend character. <laughs> he really has four combo extenders. That's crazy. But yeah, they have a ton of good characters. Um, Prestige, the Prestige roster is kind of a different story. I'm not sure what to put them at, to be honest. Uh, they have really good characters, but they really have weird characters. I don't know. I think they probably deserve to go on B tier. I I don't know enough about the characters to be honest. I'm not sure how um Zenetsu works. I think he can one shot you if he if he charges up his breath. I'll, I'm gonna look it up real quick. So from what I gather, Zenetsu, if he breathes, he gets these concentration concentration buff or whatever it's called. He can pretty much just one shot you basically i'm not sure how that works uh i feel like the procedure roster is kind of a joke roster but there's really good characters in that roster like omar or baki whatever his name is um shisui shisui has uh so she um he has a bad awakening but his he has a crazy base like pretty much one shot you have time he's basically a mini itachi but I feel like he does more damage. Uh, I feel like they should go on Ace here. They have too many joke characters that make them kind of bad, but I think they, I feel like they should go on Ace here. A tier roster. Some good characters, some bad characters. We have this guy. Um, pretty much he's gonna be S tier. They get, they're, they're gonna make him stupid powerful for some reason. They're gonna make him like crazy. But yeah. Um, if you didn't know, they're making this character. I forgot his name, but he's from a manga that's been really crazy popular from lately, or just been popular in general. And they're gonna make the character stupid OP because everybody, I guess people would. I guess people a lot. That's how they. That's what they usually do. That's not because they voted. They make. They usually make like characters OP, and later down the line, they will nerf the character. But yeah. Uh, that's all I gotta say, bro. Uh, this tier list took a little while because I kept talking too much, but yeah, I'm gonna go out and get some air because I feel like I'm dying from talking too much. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, again, this is all my opinion. So yeah, let me know you guys. Let me know if you guys think it should go anywhere else. But yeah, see you guys later. Bye.